What's going on everyone? My name's Larry Snow. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to set up goals in Google Analytics and why it's important for your business to have them. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stay tuned, it's coming right up. We're over here on Google Analytics. If you don't have an account, you need one in order to set up goals, obviously. And you can find out more information by clicking on the link in the description, analytics.google.com. Step two is to connect it to your website, get a code, a JavaScript little code, and you put it on your website. And once you get all that running, that's when we can set up our goals. So I'm over here on my Google Analytics account for my business website. And to get to goals, you go down to conversions and then click on goal. And then you wanna click on overview. And that'll give you an overview of how your goals are doing year to date. So just for general purposes, uh, I went back to May and you can see some dead spots in there and that is because we were redesigning the website. It's back in there. And so that's why we're starting to see some uptick in August. So that is a snapshot. That's your timeline right there in the, in the overview section. If you scroll down, we have the actual completions, which is 83. And I put a dollar value to the completion of that goal to a dollar. Now, this goal uh, is for people signing up for the newsletter. So they put in their email address, they put in their name, they click submit, they opt in, and it takes them to a thank you page. On that thank you page, I have a Google Analytics goal that anyone that comes to that page has completed the email sign up process. So that's how I know it's been a completed goal. And that's how I have it here. Now the other thing this will tell you as well is the source medium, which we've looked at before under the uh, UTM builder, the Google campaign builder. And so you'll see how people are coming to that thank you page through various sources, through the Sumo Shares, the share plugin that we have on our website, LinkedIn, uh, Organic, another website, securitydriver.com, uh, some Outlook. So it's going into their emails and they're opening up probably, uh, in this case right here, where it says list manage, that's our MailChimp email management. And when they get an email, uh, or forwarded to a person, they open it up in the browser and the browser MailChimp gives you the ability to sign up right there for the email. So we're getting it that way as well. So various sources. And so now, now that you know what it looks like as far as reporting, let's take a look at how do you actually set it up. So to set up a goal, you go into admin, now on the bottom left, you go over to view, under website data and you click on goals. Now I've had some other ones cause uh, members sign up and test, but here's our thank you email. And that's the one that's recording and that's the 13 completions in the last seven days. And if we click on that, we can edit it. And it says, uh, thank you email. That's the name of our goal. We have a destination and we have our goal details. So that's our equals to thanks signing up is the newsletter. Now that is, is a, um, it's not a full URL because it already knows that they're on isdacenter.org. That's the business website. And then there's where you can assign the value. And you can also set up a funnel to specify the path people take to get to that thank you page. I opted out of that. And then you can also verify this goal if you'd like. So I'm gonna click cancel on that and we're gonna set up a, a new one so you can see how it works. So I'll click on new goal. Instead of using the template, we're gonna to go to custom, click continue. We're gonna put in our goal description. Uh, we'll just say contact us. This is just a demo. We're going to put on our destination. We're going to click continue. And then we're just going to put that forward slash. Forward slash. And then we're going to do contact us. Uh, 
Uh, let's just do PHP. There you go. And then we're going to put on our value. We're going to do our $1. This could be anything. This is great for e-commerce solutions. Say if you're selling a specific product uh, and you know the price point and if someone lands on the thank you for registering or thank you for your purchase page, you could put that in that value in here and then that helps you uh, monitor how your payments are going for that particular product. And then we're going to click save. And then we're going to click and it automatically goes to done. And so here's our contact us page that we did. And, uh, and as that gets into uh, circulation, you'll start to see people hitting it in your Google Analytics under goals. So very simple thing to do. A lot of people skip this process. I think this is something that any business uh, that's on the web or using the web to uh, for goals and acquisitions and sales and leads needs to have these goals in place so they can monitor the success of those leads. So I want to appreciate you hanging out with me today. Hope you learned something. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Even better, post something in the comments below that lets me know that this is something you liked. And if you'd like to see, hear more or see more about Google Analytics, for more information about me, go to larrysnow.me and I'll see you in the next video.